So, Sniper's companion was delivered, and as you can see, he is not in there. Because Sniper literally um, played the alpha role so hard that she literally drove him out of the pen. And now, let me cut, I'll show you. He was so stressed from her. If you can see him, hold on. But um, it, it was a pretty scary situation. He laid down here. This pen that you see him in, it's just a little triangle pen. We had to build this really quick around him. So when he gets up, he doesn't hurt himself or go anywhere else. So thankfully, and thank you to two good friends that came out and uh, helped me uh, to build this around him really quick. I hate to say this, but I kind of went against my better judgment. I wanted to put him in the run next door to Sniper and slowly, very slowly, introduce them. But I was informed the best way to do it is to put them in and let the alpha female uh, dominate the male. And that's how their hierarchy works. Um, he's just, he seems like a very, very mellow guy, especially for a male. He's a lot smaller than Sniper and he just got scared and he's he was very scared earlier but he's doing a lot better now um keeping him really cool i keep coming out here and hosing him off you can see his wet feathers and like i said we uh quickly built this pen around him to keep him safe and um, brought his water and we put up this shade cloth for him to keep him nice and cool um i am just hoping that in the morning we will just see him up and standing but I'm not gonna lie, I am very, very nervous because I do not like to see any animal this scared that they don't want to move. This is a ranch-raised bird. He has not been around people. And for him to just sit here when I'm in such close proximity... Hi, sweetheart. Now, he doesn't seem to mind me. He was eating and drinking a little bit from my hand. Doesn't seem particularly upset around me he's just very very upset with sniper sniper was a very very bad girl and we know how sniper is she's she's just really really tough and that you know that's good that's good they just didn't get a chance with all that stressful transport to de really develop that sort of balance that they need and i just wish that i had gone against the advice of the rancher and and then put him in my uh my secondary pen but I kind of deferred to his, what I thought was better judgment. When you see them together in my clips, you will see that she is massive compared to him. Now he is exactly two months younger than Sniper, but still the size difference is extraordinary. He seems a lot more, he, he's just doing better. I, I'm positive about it, but like I said, I'm not gonna lie, there's a chance because of that chain of events that he could not make it. He, I don't think that the transportation went well at all. Um, I just, yeah, I kind of don't want to get into that anymore, but let's just all wish him the best of luck because he is just a very gentle, just nice little ostrich. I would, I would hate for him to, to pass away from something so senseless. It, it would just be a senseless but as I said I mean the alternative was to be slaughtered so this was his best bet even with the outcome of him being literally kicked out of his pen but luckily and thank you again to my friends who who rushed over and helped me build this pen literally around him we've been working with him all day to make sure he was safe what I'm hoping is I'm gonna come out here and I'm just gonna see him standing and then I will herd him back into my chain link run and they will be run buddies next to each other. And then, you know, we'll just play it by ear of when they can get introduced. Um, the worst thing that could happen is that he could die. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this or lie. Um, obviously he doesn't look anywhere near death. He's very curious. He's eating rocks. He's pecking at soil. He's drinking and he's eating. I just don't like to see an animal. <laughs> Are you listening to me? I don't like to see an animal go down like this. So I am very, very, very scared, but I just have to be optimistic and, um, 
just working with ostriches is extremely, extremely difficult, especially when transportation is involved, which, like I mentioned, is the, the main reason for this being such an elaborate process in the first place. Um, we just don't want anything to happen to you, buddy. I know, just from what I've worked with him and what we've done together today, I can just tell he's he's just such a sweetheart. And yes, he was due to be slaughtered in a few months, so at least now he has a chance. But okay, boy, you get better. Things are going to be okay, okay? We just got to think positive. All right, let me cut to those clips before so you can uh, uh, see more about it. Well, <clears throat> good luck with him. Hope you don't have any issues. I'm out here at sunrise and he is still sitting. Um, I can see a lot of, if you look over here, evidence on the ground. You can see, do you see, he cannot stand. Um, I don't think he's going to make it. I definitely don't think he's going to make it. Um, I checked on him every couple hours last night. You see all the evidence of him trying to stand and the lost feathers. Uh, this is not looking good. Uh, there's a number of factors involved in this. His transporter and his transport was awful. I, I, I don't know what to say. I don't want to name names or ruin anyone's reputation, but it was not handled well. And this compounded with, again, as I mentioned, my better judgment was to put him in the run next door. And I went with different advice because I believed that they knew better. And uh, I just don't even know what to say. This is just devastating. Um, he just got so stressed out, he laid down, and when they lay down like this, it's not often that they get back up again. I also believe, um, due to the weakness that I observed in his legs, that he may be highly selenium deficient, which is a problem in the area, and I don't believe that a ranch that was breeding the birds to be slaughtered probably paid much attention to that. So we have a selenium deficient bird that went down and now doesn't have the muscle capacity because if you don't know, selenium deficiency causes muscle degeneration. So now he literally in this position cannot get his legs back up again. 
I just don't know what else to say. I am literally devastated. I'm almost in tears filming this. I mean, there was no reason this should have happened because of bad hauling management. And then I partly blame myself because basically I knew instinctually that that was not the way it should have been done. And I instead listened to someone else. And this bird is going to potentially and most likely is going to lose his life because of that. Uh, this is a long sequence of events, I believe, starting with him being low in deficiency. If he had the muscle development to stand, believe me, he would have stand by now. I'm going to have his blood tested to check his PPM on that, but um, I'm almost 100% sure. He has got an uh, injection of BOC, which is uh, what you need to basically cure that. But the problem is he's a year old, and this has been going on since he was a chick. Now, Sniper and more and more I got from chicks, and I, I hand-raised them myself, so I did everything very correctly as I saw it. And I did not raise this bird or have him, and I don't believe that he was nutritionally supplemented the way he should have been. I don't believe he was cared for properly. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I don't, snipers bullying aside, the, the traumatizing way that he was transported aside, everything, I don't know if this bird would have ever have made it. Um, it's, just, it's just horrible, I mean. I've been looking and looking and looking ever since more and more passed away in February for for a companion for Sniper, and I was just just so just I don't like I just I'll just hold on. I need a minute. I guess what I want to say is I was just so overwhelmed with happiness when when I, the donations came in and it was all coming together and when I saw him just arrive the way that he did and with his legs all cut up and just the stress and just one thing after another and then working all day and setting up this pen and just making sure that he had the best possible care and just and just knowing now when I came out here this morning and seeing him still down I just know, I mean, I, I, I know this is it for him. I don't believe that, that, I don't believe he has the strength in him to be able to get back up again. I know that's a, such a strange concept, but why can't he just stand up? He literally cannot stand up. His legs, his muscles are just too, too degenerated. He doesn't have the strength. And though he's, he looks calm and, and, and now, I mean, he, he is calm. He, he doesn't know. He just doesn't know why he can't stand up. And this is literally the worst possible case scenario that, that could have happened. Cut. I am just so sorry. I don't know what I could have done differently, even if I hadn't taken the advice to put him somewhere where I really did not want to put him. I, 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 I think he was already sick when he came here. Uh, only the blood test will tell me for certain, but that's really a mute point. I just want, I just want him to make it. I, of course, am going to be monitoring him all day and doing everything that I can, but um, this isn't usually something that's recoverable from uh, they're just they're just so hard and originally that's what led me to get more and more and to get sniper as chicks because I, I wanted to do it myself I wanted to see that everything was done correctly and the reason that I decided not to get them this year was just the length of time in between introducing them to sniper I thought yes you know I had the opportunity to get a yearling male this is perfect but I, I, I made a mistake. I should have raised my own chicks again. They, I, I should have raised my own chicks again. You stand up, boy, please. We're all counting on you. You can do it. The sad thing is, I don't, I just don't think he can. Oh, I can hear my neighbor behind me. That might prompt him to try, but it's so sad because even in his own mind, he knows 
He knows he can't do it. You can kind of see he's very frazzled, and again, that's just from the transport and or the conditions at uh, the place he was where he was going to be slaughtered. He was just not taken care of in any way because there was no care to be taken. He is just meant to be a product, and I guess I kind of broke my own heart on this one. I, I screwed up. I should have got chicks of where the future is going with this for Sniper. Um, I, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm gonna do everything I can for him um, as far as not giving up. Uh, many people have encouraged me, just don't give up, don't give up. Just trust me at this point, it is very hard, but I'm not gonna give up and I'm gonna see if I can get, um, you, you can't raise them alone, so I can't get one chick, which was uh, of another issue. But I guess I'm going to get a couple chicks and try to raise them because this is just something that cannot be done, not from a place where he was attained and just the money and the time and just the effort and the stress and the exhaustion and everything that I even put you guys through to have him to see this happen. It's just terrible, but I will be getting this money, find this money somehow, and I don't care where I have to go in this country. I will be getting some chicks, and I'm just not going to give up. It's just so hard looking at this beautiful bird now who, you know, he doesn't look like he's on death's door, but in a way, I mean, you saw him the way he tried to get up. He, I don't think he'll ever stand again. I, I don't think it's going to happen. I just... I mean, when you do raise animals the way I do, it's inevitable that there will be deaths. It's just the way life is, and I do need to learn to accept that better. And I do to some degree, but it, it doesn't help the pain anymore. And it, it's just, it, it just, this never, ever, ever should have been. So for right now, we're going to continue with the selenium injections, uh, B1, any other kind of supplements. We've given him electrolytes. I will continue to keep him cool today. And by some miracle, maybe he will be standing. But from what I have observed through the night here, he has put a very, very good effort into it and he has not been able to do it for himself. You can't really lift him or help him. You could risk breaking his leg. Um, he's not that heavy, but it's kind of an awkward weight, and it doesn't matter anyway, because if he can't support his weight on those legs, he can't stand, and I believe that is due to his muscle degeneration. I, I, just, don't, I just don't even know what else to say. This is just... I mean, I don't, I don't even know. This is literally probably one of the worst things I have experienced in all my life of raising animals. And just to look at him now and know he's not going to make it. Of course, I've lost animals before. I mean, I lost more and more. And just the inevitability of this and knowing there's nothing I can do, but him still being alive is almost worse than anything that I can think of. But again, I am so sorry for putting you all through the pain of watching this. I mean, I could have maybe not made this video, but I just felt it was better that everyone understood and knew what was going on and that, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, baby, please just stand off. I know he wants to, he just can't. But I will continue to update. I mean, we're not talking euthanasia here anytime, you know, this week. I can care for him. I can hand feed him and, 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 and everything. I'll continue to care for him. But there's a point where all that weight pressing on those little legs, there's going to be no other choice but to humanely euthanize him. Which, again, logically, I suppose that's better than for him to be hooked, slaughtered, and brutally killed. 
uh, it's just a, a better death, but I didn't bring him here to die. I, I brought him here to live a long, healthy life, and everything that could have gone wrong went wrong, and it's not entirely my fault. It's mostly not my fault, but I still feel guilty because, again, I knew better, and I listened to someone that I should not have listened to. I'm gonna again. I'm gonna give him some space, and oh, I just, my mouth is so dry. I just feel just just so sick. Um, just gonna give him some space, and just hope that I come out here, and he is standing. I just hope. Just please, just keep him in your thoughts, and just. I just don't want to lose this beautiful animal. He had such, he just had an opportunity to live the best life he could have possibly had in his circumstances. I just don't want to take to have that taken away from him. I just couldn't even imagine uh, uh, having him euthanize what it, it is leading down the path to being the only option. And I know that sounds drastic because, you know, he's only been sitting, you know, not very long, but just knowing how they are and all that weight on his legs and just the muscle degeneration that I'm sure that's there. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to end the video here. Um, I Again, I'm just so sorry. I, I will not give up. I'm, I'm going to figure something out. I just wish it didn't have to end this way for him. I just wish that more than anything.